Good morning, everybody. My, my name is Daniel Nichols, and I'm a senior in high school. And, and I want to start off by uh, sharing a quick story of an experience I had from Flower City Work Camp last year. So last year at Flower City Work Camp, I saw God perform one of the most amazing miracles that I have ever seen. And the most amazing part of this miracle is that I saw God perform this miracle through me. Now, there was a kid there who I had been trying to minister to all week who simply did not understand anything I was telling him. However, after hours of prayer by a large group of people, miraculously on the last day of camp, we saw this kid come to Christ. Now many, now many people in my youth group have heard this story, and some of you may have heard this as well, but what a lot of people don't know is how this story affected my life in the months following it. So, t so today we're talking about being alive in Christ. We're talking about living a life full of purpose and, a, and having a hope because we are alive in Christ. I experienced this firsthand last year at Flower City. In the days following the story I just told, I remember being completely on fire for God. I knew exactly what God wanted of me in my life, and I was completely devoted to doing His will in everything I did. I remember leaving camp and committing myself to read my Bible every single day, which I did for some time. However, as a lot of you might know, this fire can fade very quickly. I remember God went slowly from first place in my life to second or third. The commitment I made to read my Bible went from a priority to an option to nothing at all. I went from this, this fire and this feeling I had to completely do God's will was gone, and I was left feeling spiritually empty, and I was dead. Now, what I'm explaining might not be new to some of you. I feel like at some point in our lives, a lot of us experience some major climb in our faith and then followed by a major drop in our faith. However, what I'm going to spend the rest of my time doing is explaining what God taught me through this experience. So I would like to start by reading a verse that has become absolutely pivotal in my understanding of who God is and who I am in God. And that verse is Hebrews 13, verse 8, and it says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Now, I remember, I remember specifically a time in this past year when I'd hit rock bottom. It wasn't anything huge or substantially horrible that happened to me that caused this, but rather just months and months of frustration that was built up from not being close to God. And I remember specifically one night I was alone and I just began crying out to God like, God, where are you? What happened? What's different? Why don't I feel you like I used to? Something's changed because I used to be on fire for you, but now I just feel dead and I feel empty inside. And I remember as I was crying out, I remembered Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And for the first time, this verse just hit me like a ton of bricks. You see, by understanding that God is unchanging, by understanding that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, I understood where the problem is. You see, the problem, the reason that I was feeling so dead, that I was feeling so empty, that I felt so distant from God, was not because Jesus had left me, but rather that I had left him. If Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, then the problem was not him, it was me. See, by understanding that God is unchanging and understanding the characteristics, the characteristic of Jesus, I was able to see where my problem was. So this brings me to my main point that I learned. If you feel spiritually dead, if you feel like you've lost purpose or you've lost all hope in your faith, you need to know who God is and you need to understand the characteristics of Jesus. Jesus is unchanging. He's the same God every single day. The same God that got you through your problems last year, last year is still with you today. The same God that brought you from death to life is still with you even when you're at your lowest point. And by understanding this, I was able to see where my problem was. Now this is also where my youth group comes into play. Going to second weekly, I, could, I can have weekly reminders of where God wants me to be in my life. 
I, surround, I can surround myself with people who, who share the same biblical desires in me and who also want to be in a place where their faith is strong. My favorite part about second is our small group time. Within our small groups, we're able to just be real and honest with each other, and we can discuss our problems. And this is so important, because I learned that, that we cannot commit ourselves to live a life of purpose and to become alive in God. We cannot commit ourselves to do that just once, but it's a commitment we need to make every single day. Therefore, if you are feeling spiritually empty, if you feel like you've lost all hope, you've lost all purpose in your walk with God, you need to remember the character of God. He is unchanging. He is there for you every single day. You need to be surrounding yourself with people who think like you and who share the same biblical desires as you. And you need to be continually committing yourself to God. I believe by, new, by doing this, we can find purpose, we can find hope, and we can go from a, from a place of spiritual emptiness to becoming alive in Christ. Thank you.